Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta and today I'm really pleased to bring to you an unboxing from Prism Diamond Painting. Um, I haven't tried them before, um, but they have UK stock and I was very keen to support um, another small company. So um, let's get this box opened and we will see what I have ordered. So I've got my see how do we get into this oh. let's have a look we've got tape on the end Ooh. perfect right nice and easy to get into the box So we have got <laughs> brilliant. Um, so obviously came in a really sturdy box and we're bubble wrapped as well. We've got lovely little prism sticker here and also this warning sticker, which I love. Warning, opening this package will cause extreme happiness. So I am going to do my best to not ruin these stickers. And I'm going to in fact room round them so that I can save them for later because I like collecting stickers and things that's kind of a thing that I do just you know Let's trim around this one <laughs> obviously if you're getting a parcel you do not need to be this ridiculously obsessive about opening it so we've got our bubble wrap there, out of the way, save that later, and then this is the canvas that I chose, Ooh. and we've also got this lovely piece of corrugated card keeping everything safe and secure as well. So here we have the canvas, I wanted to choose something relatively simple, I always try and choose something um, that will be quite quick to do when I'm trying out a new company. Um, I want to be able to give them the, the best chance of doing well, but also give myself the chance of actually completing the painting. So we've got these very cutesy little silhouettes of you know, best friends or a couple uh, in the sunset. And we are poured glue. lovely and sticky with the clear cover and this is really useful so it says here keep protective cover this way up the protective plastic on a lot of canvases has a right way and a wrong way uh, and if you get it the wrong way it sticks and is very difficult to take off so yeah um, okay so let's bring you down a little bit to have a look so we've got alphanumeric um, legend here all very straightforward um, looks like there's going to be a obviously all of this a is going to be 310 so all of this black area is going to be color blocking and then we've got sort of a mixture of some light confetti areas and then sections again of more color blocking as we go into this kind of sunset sort of image. Um, I will put the image up on the screen as well so that you can see it. So it is square. Our diamonds come um, pre-baggied. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit crinkly, but we'll get into this and have a look. Okay, so here again we've got the image. So I've been saying sunset. That in the original picture you can definitely see that it's a moon 
um, and they are in the glow of a full moon. Um, so that's really nice and very unusual. We've got our um, legend here, our inventory, telling us the number of diamonds, the color, the symbol, etc. Um, this is quite large, which is nice and easy to read. Um, it potentially is a little big to turn into stickers, but I think I could probably make it work. Um, and then it goes on to the second page as well a little bit. So, because um, we've got 35 colours, which for such a simple image is, is a nice lot of colours. And I always say when you've got a lot of colours that are, you know, one or two shades apart, that's what makes the blending really nice. Um, I'm not going to get all of these out of here, but I will have a little look at, let's get the, the three tens out. So have a little look. Um, certainly no obvious problems. It's very difficult to know for sure until you start working on a painting though. Let's have a look at the bright yellow. Yeah, these look lovely. Can't see any obvious problems with them. They all look nice and square. So, yeah, and many, many shades of green, which interestingly <laughs> and unconnectedly, I was recently saying that I didn't have many different shades of green in my stash. So hopefully I'll end up with a few of these leftovers um, that can go into my stash and help me with my um, wicked musical diamond painting that I'm doing. Um, we've got a little thank you card here. Um, thank you for your order. Thank you for supporting our dream. Um, just given their website there, prismdiamondpainting.co.uk and obviously they are on Facebook and Instagram as well so you can share pictures. Um, this is the tool kit. Um, I wouldn't ordinarily order a tool kit, but I tend to when it's the first time I've ordered from a company, just so that I can see what, and show, so I can show you guys what you'd be getting. So let's just have a look there. So we get, oh, a, I've never had a blue boat before. That's nice. And it's a pretty good size, actually. Um, it's sort of like the sort of size of the Mosfer boats. Do I have anything to hand that's like that? Oh, there we go. There's, there's a Dreamer Designs boat. So you can see it's a little bit bigger than the Dreamer Designs boat. Yeah, and that's Diamond, Diamond Art Club original boat. So a little bit bigger than those. Um, but yeah, a nice size, nice big spout, which means your drills won't get stuck when you're pouring them out, which is always nice. We've got a matching blue pen and a plate of clear wax or white white clear wax I think I'd probably call it clear so again very nice to get that um the only time I've ever received clear wax before was um not with a diamond painting I bought some wax and it came with some clear wax um so additionally to all of this I did purchase a cover minder as well so this is here um the cover minder I got because it's going to match with my drills and chills painting. So here we have our um, Jack Skellington head. Uh, comes with double magnet. Got a little bit of glitter in there. I don't know if you can see. Oh, excuse my nails, they need doing. Um, Oh, it's not showing up on camera very well, but yeah, there's some iridescent glitter in there as well. So I thought that would be absolutely perfect for my Jack and Sally, Mandy Manzalo, ooh, Mandy Manzalo painting. Um, let's just give you some prices for this one. I will pop them on screen now, all of the pricing details so that you can see i know at the moment they are doing at the time of recording this there is 15 percent off all their uk stock um, um but they do have an extensive range of other stock that's not currently in the uk so it takes a little bit longer for delivery 
but that shouldn't deter you um, if the picture is what you want. Um, it's also worth checking out their Facebook group and Instagram because um, there will be often codes and things that you can get a little discount. And there's also a um, discount code for first time orders. They have lots of artists that are exclusively licensed to them. Um, I will um, pop some of their details up as well. So certainly at first glance, this seems like it's going to be lovely to complete. Um, it's a 40 by 40, which I think is a good size for a first try of a company. Um, and obviously it's, it's a square, so I always find if a company's got good squares, then you're not gonna have a problem with their rounds. It's all gonna be great. Um, I don't know that I've got a lot else to say really. Um, I will, of course, as soon as I get kitted up with this, get it started, um, I will post updates on my Instagram, on Facebook, and you will be able to see all of that as I go along working on it. Um, but yes, um, thank you to Prism Diamond Painting for providing such great quality um, UK canvases. And of course, I will share all of that progress with you guys. So um, if you've enjoyed this content today, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe, become a member of the Crafty Coven, and I will see you in the next video. Stay crafty.